Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. Today we'll go through 5 simple Canadian PR methods that you may use to easily get permanent residency. Some of these programs only demand one year of work experience and an IELTS score as low as CLB for additionally, a high degree of knowledge is not necessary, and you and your family members may simply become PR thanks to these programs. You can fly to Canada right away with a temporary visa and submit an application for your PR from within Canada. Once some time has passed you won't even need to wait for your PR to be completed. Currently, the main reason you should consider applying through these programs is that for the majority of them listed here, the volume of applications that are sent through is limited. The requirements are not as stringent, and there is less competition not only for immigration selections, but even for getting jobs in these provinces as the number of immigrants going into these provinces, especially Alberta and the Atlantic provinces, is limited. As a result, the need for talented workers is greater, and these provinces also provide more employment stability and benefits since the cost of living in these regions is frequently cheaper. These programs are more appealing to prospective immigrants who are having trouble qualifying for other immigration programs with greater standards. In this video, we'll outline the five immigration options available to you as well as the key qualifications for each one so. To get all the information, pay attention, and watch the video through to the end please hit, like, and, subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. The graduate program from British Columbia is the first one listed here as you can infer from the name. This program offers permanent residency to anyone who has successfully completed academic programs from any location in Canada. You can apply to this program if you have finished a study course in the previous three years at any authorized educational institution in Canada and have a job offer in one of the tiers 1, 2, or 3. There are no other significant prerequisites, and there is no upper age restriction. The next one is Ontario Skilled Trade Stream, which is a category of immigration under the Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program, or OINP. To apply, you must have a valid work permit for Canada which can be either an open work permit or a PGWP you can apply up until the age of 49 and come either with your spouse or on your own after receiving this work visa. All you need is one year of experience working as a skilled tradesperson in Canada before you can apply for permanent residency. What are skilled trades? Electrician is, you may begin working as a construction assistant, get certificates and abilities, and even establish your own construction company in Canada. Additionally, you'll only need a CLB5 on the language test, which is excellent compared to other Ontario PNP programs this is an excellent avenue for you if your education and language abilities are not that strong because it has considerably fewer prerequisites and is known to send out many invitations. The next pathway is the Alberta Accelerated Tech Pathway, which is for applicants who have training and job experience in a few tech or IT vocations as well as in other industries including human resources, finance, and even sales. You just need a CRS score of 300 for this pathway, but you also need an Active Express Entry Profile, which means you must obtain a CLB7 on your language exam, which is not too difficult to achieve. There is no upper age restriction, and you just need one year of work experience to be eligible. This experience may be from anywhere in the globe, not only in Canada. An employment offer from one of the 38 targeted NOCs the whole set of 38 targeted NOCs from a business in Alberta is also required the processing period may be as little as six months because this is an accelerated PR track, which is also fantastic. The next program is Nova Scotia's Occupation and Demand Stream, which seeks applicants with experience in seven tier categories 3, 4, and 5 jobs since there is a high demand for these jobs in Nova Scotia. These jobs that don't require a lot of training or education, such as food servers, cleaners, transport workers, truck drivers, and construction workers, are targeted for invites in this situation as well because the prerequisites aren't very high. These individuals can easily obtain their PR after working for only one year, all they require is a high school diploma, and they are eligible to apply up to the age of 55. The minimum language proficiency CLB4, is likewise quite low Newfoundland and Labrador's International Graduate Stream, which is for recent graduates with a PGWP or postgraduate work permit and a job, 
or employment offer from a Newfoundland and Labrador firm, is another Atlantic program that makes the list. As long as you have a job offer from Newfoundland and Labrador, it doesn't matter where you studied in Canada, Ontario, British Columbia, or any other province OU may still apply for your PR in the next episode. Till then, take care.